Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you today about tailwind nutrition. So if you're into endurance sports, you've probably already heard of tailwind if you haven't tried it for yourself already. I've been using it for a number of years now, since about 2017 when I first got into ultra running. And it very quickly became my fuel of choice for endurance events. Over this time, I found an approach to using it that works for me and some top tips along the way, which I'll share with you as we go. The products I use are the Tailwind Endurance Fuel, uh, which is the nutrition drink, which is a complete calorie, electrolyte and hydration mix. I typically bulk buy that in the 30 or 50 serving packs. Uh, it also comes in convenient two serving stick packs as well. And the other product I use is the Tailwind Rebuild, which is a protein-based uh, recovery drink to use post-run to help refuel after a hard session. Why do I use Tailwind? Well, quite simply, uh, in particular for the hydration product, I like how it tastes, I like the flavours. Uh, it's really simple and easy to consume. It's a product that you mix uh, with water, uh, so you can control the level of sweetness or the strength of the flavour, depending on how strong or weak you mix it. It dissolves really easily with water, you give it a shake, mix it up and it provides a nice smooth and consistent taste. My particular favourites are the lemon flavour, which I find to be really clean and crisp and quite refreshing, and also the Colorado Cola, which is one of the caffeinated varieties. It reminds me of the cola sweets that you can get. The caffeinated version is quite good, uh, I tend to switch to that towards the end of night runs and longer races to get me a bit an extra kick or something uh, a bit harder to help me through the dark and tiring times. It's important to be consuming calories and carbohydrates to fuel for ultra running and for me Tailwind provides both of those things. Typically per serving you'll get about 100 calories and 25 grams of carbs and it also contains 0.3 grams of salt so it's important to keep that sodium content up and keep hydrated for endurance activities. Since I started using Tailwind, I did find that the amount of cramping was more manageable and a slight reduction, uh, which is particularly good for me. And if I do start to cramp during long activities, then where possible, I'll just increase the concentrate of the mix that I'm taking of Tailwind. In terms of the fueling approach, so what works for me is that I tend to have uh, two scoops or two servings, which is the same as a stick pack in a 500 milliliter soft flask. Uh, and predominantly for ultra running and events, I will fuel off Tailwind and I'll have two soft flasks, uh, so about a litre. Uh, and that can typically last between 10k to a couple of hours, depending on how far apart aid stations are and the train I'm running. And if I stick to that strategy, then I'll get a baseline of about 400 calories and 100 grams of carbs between refueling. As I say, I like that you can mix the concentrate and dilute the strength as you need to, and that helps me manage then the intake of the rest of my food through water and real foods uh, as I need to. Over the course of a longer run, uh, that baseline can then add up and be quite a significant amount of calorie intake. So for some perspective, I estimated when I completed the TDS at UTMB, that I consumed at least 15 liters of tailwind, which is about 6,000 calories. And that would be quite hard to replace if I was only fueling on water or other isotonic drinks. Then I'd have a lot more challenge to get that level of calorie intake. I also fail to have any uh, gut bombs or issues with tailwind, and I swear by uh, their, their strap line of no gut bombs. In terms of carrying all that on a longer run, so the stick packs are a really convenient way to travel with them and get them out on top up as you need to. Uh, but what I like to do is decant into smaller travel bottles. So these ones uh, provide about 50 grams and uh, you can pick them up cheaply at any supermarket. Uh, and what I like about these is that you can fill them easily before races and during the race then they're much more easy to put into your flask. So the Tailwind soft flask is quite good because it has uh, a large neck. But ones that come with your pack might be smaller neck variety and with these bottles they fit in nicely so you can give them a little shake uh, and that way it avoids the product going everywhere and ending up looking like you've got an addiction to another sort of white powder. Uh, the other product I said I use is the Tailwind Rebuild uh, and what I like about this is that it, again it's really nice flavour, really easy to mix. What I tend to do is stick to the directions, mix two scoops in a flask 
uh, give it a shake and you've got your, your recovery drink. And a top tip here is to mix it with warm milk on a colder day and you get a nice delicious hot chocolate. So there you go, that's a bit of insight into the products I use from Tailwind and you can get all of these at Xmiles.